See, looking back, first of all, to sort of the other night's game, it must have been a great encouragement to see the, the girls coming back after conceding a the goal. They came back and they still managed to get the win on the night. Yeah, of course. Um, I think, I mean, as much as we aren't um, happy with our performance, there was a lot of positive to take from it. And, you know, we got a, a lot of our younger player starts um, for one, and um, we did create a lot of opportunities. Unfortunately, we just didn't um, finish the chances we had, but, you know, we went down, um, sorry, we, we, we conceded a, a silly goal um, and it was 1-1, but the belief that we were going to win that game, you know, never went away and, it was, um, yeah, it was great to see one of our young players, Rebecca McKenna, get on the score sheet and, and win the game for us. You mentioned there about young players. Obviously, you have quite a, quite a few coming up. There was a few called up for this actual squad. How have they sort of fitted into that, that training? Yeah, really good. Haven't looked at a place. Um, you know, we, we're a squad that we're still developing and um, we've had, obviously, a fantastic year going to the Euros and it's been the pinnacle of of kind of the success within such a short space of time but we're still really hungry and we still really want to make sure that this time next year that we're we're ready and prepared to go and qualify for another major tournament so it is great to have the the young players feeding in and you know the more experienced players like myself can help feed them through and help them and um, develop and improve with with management I asked the same question to Rebecca the other day in terms of goals obviously the loss of Simone and uh, obviously, Rachel's a big loss for us, so it does a bit more pressure on like see yourself to chip in with goals on a regular basis. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the the players here at the squad the squad, the last two games, we have to step up and we have to we have to find the, the goals that we need to win the game. Um obviously it's unfortunate to not have the likes of Simone and, and Rachel Furness and all the other players dismissing, and especially them too, because you know, the they've had a lot of goals um for us in, in the last number of years, but as you say, you know, we're you know, we're a competitive team and we're a team that wants to win games and um we'll take on the challenge to step up and hopefully um get the goals that we need. Well, finally for myself, looking forward to the last big game. Obviously, they've got a bit of the bottom of the group. It's a game we'll probably look forward to and think, you know, we can win this. I know we don't want to be overconfident. We must be optimistic we can get a result. You yourself scored against them at home. So once again, you'll be looking at that tally, and I'm sure we'll be looking for a few goals on the night as well. Yeah, nice wee belly flop. I think I scored it at Windsor, but um, okay. Listen, it's yeah, it's that it's definitely a must win game for us. And I've said it before: every single game we go out, we go out and play. We we play to win, um, and we set up to win. And, and the management has always um, made sure that we are prepared to do that. Um, obviously, it's tough um, amongst you know top athletes, the likes of you know Belgium and England and and, and Norway and the, the recent games that we've had. Um, but we'll back ourselves against Lafayette tomorrow night and. You know, we will put ourselves under pressure to make sure that that we um, get the win, and and hopefully by tomorrow night we'll make a little bit more history of of getting the most points on the board and in, in a World Cup qualifying campaign. Thanks very much, Marissa. Okay. Looking ahead then tomorrow night's game, obviously we're coming up against Latvia, has I have conceded some 60 goals so far in this competition. So they're obviously there for the taking, if that makes sense. Does that sort of affect your your thinking in terms of your tactics, et cetera? Do you, do you go more for them and try and get some goals or are you tempted to, to blood some more younger players in this game as well? It's mixing it all up. Uh, the, the 60 goals, I think 30 of them or over half of them were scored by England. Um, and... We're not at that level, obviously, but we are at a level where we can, you know, put some pressure on them and, and try to get into winnable positions using our the mental winning mentality that we provide and hopefully they can provide as well. And winning this match will give us a lot of confidence going into the next chapter of of the women's football because that's us finished with the World Cup for until the next World Cup tournament. And now we'll be, we will now be preparing for the Euros, uh, the next Euros, and all mixed up in which year because of the COVID. But we will, when you see those happy faces in winning and the disappointment when they lose, we want to make sure that we're, we're, we're getting into the winning habit. And that's what we've been preaching to them. And our sessions have, um, been like that as well where we want to win we want to have players who want to win and we'll all we'll all move along together to achieve that there there are games where 
you know, you have to step step up the uh, pressure and the opposition, and we will be trying to do that as best we can. Uh, looking just uh, across the board a little bit to our next door neighbours, they've obviously made the, the World Cup qualifiers in the last few days as well. Um, whenever I look at their squad, I see a lot of players playing professional football in England, Scotland and so forth. From an Northern Ireland perspective, you know, how can we get some of our younger players here playing maybe locally here, maybe to that sort of level? How do you see that sort of development over the next few years? Well, behind the scenes, I, I am developing that. We've got two to Reading. We've got another one um, going to the Women's Super League, almost over the line. Um, and we're doing everything we can to so that they're playing at a level of football where they're getting the utmost conditioning mechanism. And the more I can help to get across, then the better it will be. And it's vitally important. Okay. And finally, for myself, in terms of this actual qualifying campaign, how would you sum the whole campaign up from start to finish? Well, you know, if I look at teams who are sitting in second position in some of the other groups, they're sitting with 12 and 14 points. If we were to win uh, against Latvia, it would we would have amassed 19 points, which is amazing. It's amazing. Uh, and we only got uh, 16 in the Euros from memory. So I think it's it's a fantastic uh, movement in that direction. It will help the coefficient. It means that if we can win, we will hopefully move into the top 27, which is where we really need to be. And that would leave us a third seed. We would be a third seed team.